three really great ways of launching an online course without doing video. Yeah, hey everybody, this is Ian from Mindful Marketplace and welcome back to Serve at Scale. This is our community podcast where we look at interesting and innovative ways you can 10x your output, your audience, your impact, and ultimately your income on a bootstrap budget. So uh, one of the things that we've been covering a little bit in our uh, private forum is people who are looking to create their first courses, to teach online, to create their first products, but are really either camera shy or are not big fans of doing uh, video, live video, or any sort of instructional uh, video to teach courses. And there's really good news on a couple fronts here. One, I'm one of those people, like I really, but for a couple uh, live video uh, things that I've done with some other folks, I generally prefer to learn and to teach via audio. I prefer podcasts and audiobooks myself personally. There are some really great uh, audio first learning platforms like Knowable uh, that do this themselves. It's all uh, audio based content. I think that was founded by the guy who founded Reddit or one of the co-founders of Reddit. And I believe they're doing fairly well. But either way, there are legion opportunities to uh, not use video. I think that video is actually a thing of the past a little bit when it comes to uh, online learning. I know that many people will disagree with that, but I think Zoom burnout and the sorts of lessons we've all learned you know, in this serendipitous sort of way uh, through the pandemic, people don't like spending a lot of time staring at a screen. And I think there are some really great ways of working around that to the, you know, to your, to the good, to your benefit as a teacher, coach, author, or online entrepreneur. I'm going to cough. <coughs> That's a non-COVID cough, I hope. Uh, and I'm going to share with you the three platforms that I think are, or the three approaches that I think are uh, best suited for those of us who prefer to learn via audio or, um, you know, text even or any other similar uh, kind of modality. So number one uh, platform called Talent Cards. This is flashcard learning, uh, you know, mobile first flashcard learning a platform that's micro nano learning focus. So these are really kind of, it's almost like, uh, you know, having a card deck or a index card sort of approach to learning where you have one, you know, question on the front or one concept on the front and then a description on the back. Although it's done via a very cool interactive app that's very cool, creative, colorful. You can add really fun, entertaining pictures. And it's really just great. I mean, it's an ideal way of learning advanced concepts or teaching advanced concepts. And it really has almost no video. I mean, video is very, there are, you, you can add video to talent cards, but it's almost superfluous. It's almost completely unnecessary. And I would say antithetical to the platform itself. The, so I would check them out. You can see I've, I, I have a, um, a crash course on using talent cards. You can download that uh, at the link below. Uh, the second platform is uh, Arist, A-R-I-S-T. I believe their URL is uh, either learn Arist or arist.co. And it's a text-based or an SMS-based learning platform that's really amazing. So essentially, all of your lessons are delivered via text. There's no video. There's no anything. And there, other than text-based, SMS-based messages that arrive on your learners' phones in a very, very cool and creative way, it, the open rates are through the roof. So rather than having these very poor engagement or completion rates like most courses have, the Arist uh, metrics that they've published are th phenomenal. I mean, people are opening 80, 90, 
or even close to 100% of the lessons and engaging with the content because it comes on a phone, right? It comes not via email or not via a video or not via some login to some extraneous LMS. You're actually getting the course delivered on the, on the tool that we all kind of carry with us all the time pretty much all of our waking hours. So I really recommend Arist. One of the uh, downsides of Arist is that it's pricey. Their price, their price uh, model is they charge per, they charge you per user. So you can't really use this for free uh, lessons on the basic plan. They give you 10 uh, free students, and then every student thereafter is $3. So you really have to sell something um, you know, to actually make really good use of a race, but there's lots of cool and creative ways of adding affiliate programs into this sort of thing using external tools like, you know, Gumroad or Podia or something like that. I have, again, a PDF on how to do that. If you're interested, actually, I have an audio on how to do that, integrating an affiliate program and an outside processor to ins- like a Gumroad, for an example, to ensure that you get really good uh, profitability from the Aris learning model, um, which again can be punitive, can be punishing if you're like charging five dollars for your course and you're paying them three dollars for every new member. It's kind of not ideal. So there are some workarounds that I've discovered that work really, really well for increasing profitability. And the final approach is, and this can be really used with all of these suggestions, is using something like a Circle platform, like the Circle uh, software as a service, and then incorporating a private podcast. So you're really using a community first approach. So everyone is taking your course or your coaching or your uh, content in a community, a cohort-based environment, and is actually getting the uh, lessons through a private podcast. I use Transistor for this, and we use Circle as well. And it's really a great way of delivering a private audio first style content or course community within uh, cohorts or a forum where people are interacting with each other, with you, et cetera, et cetera. And there's no need to do any instructional videos. It's kind of, um, you know, it's kind of the perfect combination of courses and community in my view. And you can actually use Circle with talent cards. You can use Circle, and I recommend using Circle with something like Arist. So you're delivering text-based courses in that example and then offering people the interactivity and the engagement that a community will bring uh, rather than just having the whole entire value proposition be text-based courses on a phone. And of course, finally, you can also just deliver email-based uh, courses. I mean, this is still a very viable business model. I would argue there are tens of millions of people who would even prefer reading a step-by-step, you know, day, you know, day-by-day lesson plan via email and maybe a PDF that kind of summarizes all of the daily lessons at the end rather than having to sit and watch a video. I can tell you from my own personal experience, I won't watch videos. Like I simply can't muster the attention to spend anything longer than, you know, two minutes or three minutes or four minutes on a video, even something I'm really interested in. I tend to save it for later and just never come back to it because I don't have the interest in just sitting and watching people talk. I'd rather be out in the world, running, walking, doing something athletic or in nature or whatever, and listening to it on my uh, you know, device of preference. Okay, so teach what you know, do what you love, wake up the world with your work. This is really our core mission is to empower the next generation of mindful leaders to create courses and content and communities that make a meaningful difference in mental health and personal growth, spiritual development, whatever the word spiritual means to you, and all those great things. If you're interested uh, in working with me, send an email to mindfulmarketplace at gmail.com. Gmail.com. And if you want a quick recap of all of the uh, products or the platforms and the software that I recommended here, I have a PDF that's available that you can download at the link below. They are talent cards, uh, Arist, 
and using Circle as a mechanism to deliver co- community cohorts in combination with a po- podcast platform like Transistor, which gives you the ability of publishing a private podcast in a very smooth and uh, you know, pretty sexy way. There's a lot of uh, really cool features that Transistor offers for private podcasting that you really won't get on some of these other uh, platforms. All right. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll talk to everyone soon.